Hello guys, so today we will speak with His Excellency Faisal Al-Banai. Some of you might remember that I already had the chance to speak to Mr. Banai two years ago when I was visiting IDEX 2021. The really great opportunity here was that Edge Group was one of the largest if not the largest exhibitor during this event and this made Mr. Banai actually one of the highest representatives of the defense industry who was attending this event. Despite having a very tight schedule, he really took the time to answer some short questions in detail and I really would like to take the time to thank him again for this. So let's jump into the interview. I really hope you get some interesting things from it. So today we are here with His Excellency Faisal Albanai, the chairman of Edge Group. Your Excellency, thank you for taking the time to speak to us. So looking at you stand alone, one can see that you make huge progress, but could you explain a little bit more in detail what exactly has changed since the last time we spoke to yesterday? So if we say two years ago or even probably three years ago, we had at that time, we said we will be agile, we will be fast, we will be efficient and we'll be disruptive. Three years ago, we had 20 products. Today we have 110 products, 60 finished, 50 under development. We have 30 autonomous systems, nearly 15 smart weapons and 15 electronic warfare products. And a good highlight is nearly a year or so ago, we showed the dummy of this plane in the Dubai air show. And we said, we are coming with a product. And people said, yeah, but this is still a plastic dummy and maybe another four years. This is now an actual flying plane. You can see actually the video of the flights. Right? This plane is going in production next year. And an interesting part where we said we'll be disruptive. This plane matches the spec of the key competitors in the market. Normally, it sells for like a green plane, Let's say between 3.5 to 5 million dollars. We announced the day before yesterday 1.1 to completely disrupt the market in this uh, sector. So, we have a number of products we'll talk about today that is causing an interesting disruption. What other interesting products you would like to mention for here? I think in, we, we mentioned a couple of years ago we will focus on three areas in autonomous. So we have a number of autonomous products that we will talk now about on smart weapons and electronic warfare. So loitering ammunition today, as we all know, is quite critical in today's warfare. And we have a product called Hunter 2, that maybe we can go and shoot over there later on, that is the tube-launched drones. This is an important category for us, the loitering ammunition category. We've just received an award from our armed forces for probably one of the largest loitering drone orders globally in the sector. On this product is going in production next year. We've made it in swarm configuration. And already with the current order, we become one of the largest players in swarm products globally in this game. The, the latest conflict has shown for Ukraine, for example, that production time is a huge factor when it comes to that. What could you tell us about your production times? Are you able to do it far? I think one of our winning cards is our ability to develop very quickly and then get into production very quickly and ramp up the production rate. So on all our orders, we are able to ramp up production extremely fast. And that's why, frankly, many clients are coming to us. So let's give a good example of what does that mean. In 2019, when we launched, our book export orders, because okay, local orders, you might say local clients, but export means international clients. Our book export orders was around $60 million, 2019. 2022, is over $1.5 billion are the book orders. And the reason you're able to do that is you're able to ramp up production extremely fast to meet demands of different products. A huge surprise was the deal with Mirror. Could you yes. explain a little bit more about this for you? Our strategy has always been that we are growing our talent locally. We are bringing the best talent globally over here. And that's probably 80% of our growth strategy of the product you see here. But then strategically and surgically, we are selecting to invest strategically in various companies to further accelerate our growth. So the Mirren acquisition uh, is to further double down on our autonomous ground vehicles. So yes, we have ground vehicles ourselves. This is to further expand our ground vehicle capability because we think more and more autonomous capability are critical. And one of the other interesting news we have is we said this is reaches is our uh, sneak entry preview in, in UAVs. We are now showing the mock-up of our fighter uh, 
او باور فايتر بلين او يو كاف بلين جنيه جنيه اه انا اي ثينك اون اون ذس بلين لايك وين وي بريزنتد ري تشيس وي ار سينج ستي تيون وي ار جوين تو كم وذ ا نمبر اوف برودكت ذات ار ناو اون ذا يو كاف كاتيجوري سو وي اناونس ذس ناو لايك ذا سيم واي وي اناونس ذس ا يير سو اغو And I think we will start disrupting the entire UAV business with family products that will be coming. The people at the stand of Janai were actually quite secretive about the product. So yes. could you could give us some more info about it because like, I think everyone is eager to know. I think the key aim of Janai, so if we compare, the Reaches is a tactical ISR with light weaponization plate. So it's uh, at the entry level of the UAV. Janai sits in the other end of the spectrum where this is more of a fighter plane that regards much more stealthier plane all the weapons are in the bay or inside the, the bay it's supposed to be a faster plane payload we are talking she carry this version is around 450-500 kg payloads but there will be multiple flavors of it coming out but this category is more around really doing what a fighter plane does uh, at a stealthier, at a much faster uh, speed uh, than your typical drone. So it can engage air and ground targets. It can engage air, air to air and ground targets. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much Thank for you. having us. Very nice to see you.